Hi guys, Blue here, and welcome back to another Wobbly Top video. Since we had such a good time showing you guys all those activities that we do with the King of the Cats, we figured it would be fun to show you an activity that we do with our first book, Bradley, What Are You Doing? So here, I have this handy dandy worksheet, and how Bradley works is it's based on his imagination versus what he's doing in the real world. So over here, we have a picture of Bradley getting into some trouble in the real world, and then you get to figure out what he's imagining in his head based on this picture and you draw it in this box. So I'm going to show you what I thought Bradley was imagining. Let's check it out. All right, here we are up close with our worksheet. So you guys can get a better view of both the worksheet itself and what I'm going to be drawing for you today. So like I said, at the top of the sheet, we ask, Brad, uh, <laughs> what do you think Bradley is imagining? draw it inside the box below and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Now for those of you who don't know Wobbly Top's first book Bradley What Are You Doing is a story about a mischievous little boy named Bradley obviously and um, kind of the adventures that he goes on in his imagination and the trouble that he gets into in the real world because of them. So Basically, the, the setup of the book is you will see one page that shows you the adventure that Bradley's on in his imagination, and then his dad will say, Bradley, what are you doing? And you turn the page, and then you see what kind of trouble Bradley's gotten into in the real world. So, for instance, the first page of the book, you see Bradley deep in his underground lair in his secret laboratory. He's dressed as a mad scientist and he's doing experiments to make, oh, what was, flying monkey servants. And um, then you, at the bottom of the page, it's his dad is yelling, Bradley, what are you doing? And then you turn the page and you see there's Bradley sitting in the middle of the floor in his living room with his dad's button down shirt, that's his lab coat, a big pair of sunglasses on his head as his goggles. And he's got his teddy bear and he's pouring hair gel onto the teddy bear. And that's his mysterious chemical potion that he's using to perform his experiment. And basically the rest of the book goes back and forth like that with escalating adventures as we go along. And so that's the kind of idea that this worksheet is based on. So right now we'll, we see on the right side of the page... Bradley, in the real world, I, I will explain to you what he's doing. He is, um, he's got a bottle of ketchup and he's squirting it onto a sweater that presumably belongs to his dad. And then he has mustard and mayo open next to him that he's already gone nuts with on that sweater. And of course, as always, his little mouse buddy is there cheering him on. Um, now I'll tell you a little bit about the art since we're right here. Um... <laughs> You guys have probably already been able to guess what I'm drawing at this point, but if you haven't, I'm not going to say just yet. I am, I had a little fun with this. I prefer to ink my art with a brush, so that's what I chose to do. But when you guys are doing this at home, feel free to use anything you want. You can use a ballpoint pen, you could use like a black colored pencil. You don't even have to do like a, a black or dark outline if you don't want to. You can do whatever you want. Go straight in with whatever coloring supply you choose to use. Or you can just draw it in pencil and not color it at all. It's really up to you. Whatever you want. Uh, in case you're curious, I am using another one of those Kolinsky Sable watercolor brushes that I keep talking about. They are very, very good for inking as well because of their ability to hold a nice sharp point. So now I have moved back to the right side of the picture. Well, I guess not back. I've moved on to the right side of the picture so I could give the ink a little bit of time to dry. And now I'm coloring that in. Um, this is another part where I'm, I'm getting a little fancier than you should ever feel the need to at home. Um, I'm coloring this in with Copic markers, which are an artist grade kind of alcohol based marker. But... You can feel free, like I said, use color pencils, markers, crayons, whatever you want. Um, but, you know, this. think of this as a little bit of like an artist edition of this worksheet where I got to kind of explore and have a, have a good time playing with my art supplies and color in my own coloring page. 
so here we are I am coloring in the the mayonnaise if you want to zoom in there's a little bit of it or if you download the sheet I didn't mention yet this sheet is available for download in the lesson plans section of our website uh, www.wobblytop.com so if you take a closer look at those condiment bottles I've, I've hidden a few few little jokes on there if you guys can see them I'm not gonna not gonna spoil the fun for when you guys find them yourselves because they're kind of visual jokes it won't make as much sense if I explain them so right now we're going in and coloring this sweater in all its beautiful multicolored glory I figured that either this sweater was Bradley's sweater or it was an oversized sweater that Bradley was forced to wear because maybe some like relative made it for him or something. And so he's not too fond of it. So he's taking great glee in uh, using it as his venue of his artistic expression right now. And of course the mouse is always there jumping on the bandwagon. So now I'm just adding some wood grain texture to the piece what's great about these alcohol based markers is they kind of blend together in a way that water based markers won't and you can really go back over them with the colors and that'll also help them blend if you guys want me to do a video where I talk about that more leave a comment below let me know I will definitely do that so I think we're getting about time where I can tell you what Bradley is imagining he's doing, but I don't want to yet. You've probably all figured it out by now. Uh, all right, all right. So Bradley, Bradley is imagining himself as one of the great abstract painters, because obviously I'm I'm an artist. So what did what did I imagine myself doing as a little kid? I imagined myself being a well, when I was little, I wanted to be an animator for Disney, uh, a two dimension, like a 2D hand drawn animator like the old movies they used to make. So I would play animator when I was a little kid. I would get pieces of paper and do different drawings on them and put them in a stack and try to flip them and pretend that I was making animation, which I mean, I the, the drawings didn't move at all, but it was really fun for me. And that was that was like a big dream of mine for a long time. So now I'm just going in and adding that kind of same wood grain to provide like even though this doesn't really happen in the book I'm trying to give a little bit of a similar environment but Bradley's table in his artistic imagination is a little more rough and beat up <laughs> so and Bradley is answering the question he's on an adventure to paint a great masterpiece so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions about anything, any comments, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the Wobbly Top channel. Also, if you enjoyed it and you want to see more content like this. So it was great hanging out with you guys. Have a great week. Bye.